All right, guys, what's going on? So tomorrow is my very favorite tournament of the year on, on like every single lake. I love fishing this tournament. It is the Good Friday tournament on Lake Harding, Alabama. I fish it as much as I can. I have not fished it every single year, but I've done well in it before. The fish are on bed. Usually this time of year, a lot of fry garters, the immediate post spawners are biting the top water. So we're going to go and try to find some on bed right now, find some bigger male fry garters, some two and a half pound fry garters, which is pretty common on this lake. Need to find a couple four pounders on bed and that's going to be tough to do because this time of year they don't stay very long the water's already super warm they get up there to do the business and they leave but check this bad boy out right here everything is up and running gotta give a shout out to we dowie marine south eric morris over there they got the biggest selection of phoenix and vexus boats and they know how to fix one of them bad boys right there so let's fire her up get it out here and find us some bed fish do what I don't know, man. St. John's. Oh, this tournament? I don't. I didn't fish it last year. I fished it the year before that. No? Last time I fished this tournament was 2017. And I won it. I saw it on Facebook. I might have won this tournament twice. But I don't. We used to have a lot more. Oh, there's a good one. No, it ain't. Still shouldn't have caught him, should I? But if I got to weigh them in this size, I ain't going to win, probably. That was just for the camera right there. I don't know for sure, but while well, I skipped in there, he came out and ate it. So that was just for y'all. I showed y'all a fish catch, okay? And I'm going to use the camera as an excuse to catch fish that I shouldn't catch. So that was one I just caught just to make a video for today. So there we go. Whenever I saw him, I thought he was pound three quarters, but he wouldn't move a pound and a half. I got to put on a different color. One that they can. Huh? So I'm going to put on a different color. I feel like they come and look at this color better, but... Dude, I don't ever catch them on this color. What? Well, you, you, you laugh at me putting this color on? Hunter's been fishing with me for, I don't know, she always comes in the spawn. Three years or so, every day in the spawn. And she sees me throw this color worm right here. I've had this same pack for, I mean, probably five years. Because I don't throw them, man. I mean, I, well, I throw them. I don't catch them on it. Just do not catch them on this color. So... I'll put it on whenever they're biting and then I instantly stop catching them so but today I'm just trying to see the fish I want them to come up and look at the bait that's why I don't um practice with a wacky rig it's because they eat it they eat it so good is that fry I can't tell Must have been. <laughs> Spotted bass. A little fry garter on the tip of that dock. Pretty standard place for spots to be, especially. It's the furthest out post on a flat point. That's like typically where spots spawn is these flat points. And then they guard fry right on the dock close by. I was not recording, but saw this one come up and bite. Threw back to it and he came out and straight up ate it. Okay, I don't know if he's on bed behind them posts or not, but he definitely was very, very aggressive, surprisingly aggressive. Come on, hook. That back post right there, that right one. Little bitty one, 13 incher. He's a little spotted bass. All right, guys, I got a tiny one right here. Another one that I'm going to sacrifice for the betterment of me because I like to catch fish. He's got a black spot on his, right on above his dorsal fin. He just bit last cast and now he's leaving the bed. He's coming back.
finally messed up. Dang, dude. Shield for a second. That's that black spot I said here beside his fin right there. Little one, 13 inch. to freaking catch dude oh crap okay first things first happy easter so basically this video right here was just what i've been up to lately we went to lake harding practice for a tournament that tournament video will be up next and then we went to we dowie to pick my boat up we had to have one problem with my engine so this right here was lake harding that you just watched and right now i'm gonna show you what i filmed from lake we one of my favorite lakes in the country let's get on over there and i will see those fish catches so that's it Check it out right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that over there, that building is where we're headed. We got jet skiers out. Don't y'all know to wait till June? Dad gum. Let's check it out. So have not told y'all this in a while. Did end up having a minor issue with my engine again. Um, I've got, you know, 335 hours on this boat. Had two problems with it. It's not a big deal. As much as I fish and you know, the strain that i put this engine under you know you're expected to have some i'm glad it did not happen during a tournament we were pulling up here at my buddy eric's marina we dowie marine south picking up the boat they got some of the best mercury mechanics around up here so that's where i brought it gonna pick this sucker up and go fishing for a little while i've been driving today for an hour and 15 minutes without my boat it is strange to turn or back up or anything and not have a boat behind you you almost panic for a minute where's the boat because i've had it been pulling it for like two years straight so let's go hook up this sucker and go wet one of these frogs one of these jigs let's go catch some so y'all have never seen me fishing this lake on a video but this is my favorite lake in the country right here i love this place especially this time of year they're moving up on bed there's tons of giants in here but that's where i just picked my boat up from we dowie marine south y'all come see eric morris he sells phoenixes he sells bexes he hooked me up this week we're about to go try to catch a seven or eight pounder out of this lake i've caught 30 pound bags here i've caught tons of sevens and eights let's go try to catch us a big one on bed see if we can find a couple oh son of a gun dude yeah man yeah gosh Ugh. this rod is so powerful but still i 18. Dang gum it. There's one right there. I bet he's guarding a fry somewhere. See him? He turned around on it. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> there you go. Oh, as far as his grandson. I was going to ask who, who, if he was related to him. I felt him go. That's almost. These rods really are like that sensitive. It's almost bad because you feel you feel it too early. There he is. He's back. Sometimes it's better to let him swim for a minute. <laughs> There's his ball of fry. I see him now. Fry right there. Here he comes. He got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though, man. Is it fun? I saw his damn mouth. I don't know. I don't know if I should swing him or not. I hadn't swung it on this rod and it's a medium light. Gotta do it sometime, don't you? <laughs> he might be 16. He's long. Yeah. <laughs> he had to bite twice. 
little frog garter it's crazy how the most obvious cover just it, it works man it just works we try to make it complicated but we just go there find a tree and throw to it yeah. 